Hi everybody, so today I'm going to be, of course, reading an another Mr. Man collection book. So we have already finished Miss Mr. Happy, Mr. Sneeze, Mr. Messy, and Mr. Nosy. We have a couple more left. Now let's decide. Mr. Topsy Turvy. Let's start. Mr. Topsy Turvy was a funny sort of fe fellow. Everything about him was either upside down or inside out or back to front. Topsy-turvy, in fact, it was all very extraordinary. To give you some idea of how Topsy-turvy, Mr. Topsy-turvy was, you ought to see his house. The front door is upside down to start with, and the curtains hang upside down at the windows. Just look at that chimney. All very extraordinary. Insta inside, it's just the same. Just look at the clock standing on Mr. Topsy Turvy's mantelpiece. Isn't that the topsiest, turviest clock you've ever seen? And just look at the way Mr. Topsy, Topsy Turvy reads a book. Not only does he read it upside down, but he starts to read it at the back page. Now this is the story all about the time Mr. Topsy-Turvy came to the town where you and I live. Nobody's quite sure how Mr. Topsy-Turvy got there or where he came from, but he did arrive because somebody saw him get off the train. The trouble was he did in a Topsy-Turvy way and got out the wrong side and fell into the tracks, which really isn't that surprising, is it? When he picked himself up and managed to find his way out of the station, Mr. Topsy-Turvy went to a hotel to find a room to spend the night. Look at the way he's wearing the hat and carrying the suitcase. Very Topsy-Turvy. The hotel manager tried not to smile when he saw Mr. Turvy walk into his hotel carrying his suitcase upside down with his topsy-turvy hat on his head. Good afternoon, sir, he said. Can I help you? Now something you didn't know about, Mr. Topsy-turvy is the way he speaks. You see, he sometimes gets the things the wrong way around. Afternoon, good, said Mr. Topsy-Turvy to the hotel manager. I'd room alike. The manager scratched his head. You mean you'd like a room, he asked. Please, yes, replied Mr. Topsy-Turvy. Eventually, the hotel manager managed to work out what Mr. Topsy-Turvy was talking about, and... He was taken up in the in the elevator to bedroom. Then Mr. Topsy Turvy unpacked his suitcase, put on his pajamas, and went to bed. He was rather tired after traveling from wherever he'd come from. The following day, Mr. Tur Topsy Turvy went round the town, but what a fuss his going round the town caused! She took a taxi from the hotel, but so confused the taxi driver, 
driver, trying to tell him where he wanted to go. The poor man drove straight into a traffic light. Oh dear, said Mr. Topsy Turvy. I'm sorry, very. And then he went to a big department store in the middle of the town. He walked up to one of the counters. I'd like a sock of pears, he said to the lady behind the counter. You mean a pair of socks, she smiled and showed him a pair of bright red socks. Mr. Topsy Turvy put them on his hands. He tried to leave, but being Mr. Topsy Turvy, he tried to walk up the escalator and all the people who were going up the escalator fell all over themselves. It was a terrible topsy-turvy jumble. He went to a library and put all the books upside down on the shelves, which made everybody extremely angry. Then he went to an art gallery and insisting on hanging all the pictures upside down so that he could look at them properly. <laughs> this is a picture of a mountain in a, I think, forest, but Mr. Topsy-Turvy likes them upside down, the pictures. And then after Mr. Topsy-Turvy had been in the town for just one day, he disappeared. Nobody knew how he went or where he went, but he certainly went because he wasn't there anymore. The whole town breathed a sigh of relief, but what the town discovered, even though Mr. Topsy-Turvy had left, was that everything was still topsy-turvy. News the is here, shouted the news casters, instead of saying here's the news. Morning good, people started saying to each other when they met. Do do you how, instead of saying how do you do. Everybody was talking topsy-turvy. Can you think of something to say that's topsy-turvy? Go on, try. Type in the comments. Comments in the type. Bye.